welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today I will be bringing you a hopefully not too, too long um, video. I am bringing you my June plans and um, got good lighting today in my sewing room. It's a little bit of an overcast today, so it was good to record in this room today. Um, so, because it's not so bright. But anyway, let me uh, start with uh, first, I will be sharing with you my plans. And then secondly, for those who have been participating and everybody who were who was participating should have tagged me on um, Instagram, Natural Dane, to let me know you were participating in the pattern No Buy. It ends on June 30th. And so right after I share with you my sewing plans, we're going to jump right into the patterns that I plan to purchase once um, June 30th is here. Um, so let's get into the plans. Very simple plans for the month. If you recall my plans from last month, um, I was doing the wrap dresses, but then I was going to start working on, um, some of my fitting techniques with pants and thing with the pants. And so this month I will actually do the, um, still working on, um, the, the fit, uh, but that's fine. Cause I think I said it may take me um, some time but this month I will actually do the pants and I will try my best to record the the plan for this month is to record because um, one of these is my make nine items to uh, record that process so I'll have that for you all of that being a separate video so as I go through my different motions or steps I'll have have that but um, simplicity 8457 I am doing the curvy view B and maybe you'll see it better here. Um, I'll be doing the view B. And so that is on the plan this month. And McCall's 7131. And I will be doing also view B. I just want to do some um, short, uh, some shorts um, type uh, pants. So, um, yeah. So that is what I will be working on in the month of June. Um, and then also for my make nine, um, if I can get to it, because I have some other things um, going on too outside of these couple projects that I'll be able to talk about later. But um, I want to get going on my um, green style creations, the endurance sports bra. Um, and so I believe I have some good muslin fabric that I can do in this that I already have in my stash that will be uh, very helpful just to kind of do something. But we shall see. I want to at least um trace it out this month um and so yeah that's basically it so those are my plans keeping them relatively simple and the last thing um my last final plans is i will be i will start the muslins for my anniversary collection i will link the video up above that shows all of the patterns that now that i'll be sewing up so now i've gone to walmart and picked up some just some um, cheapo fabric to just play around with um uh, cuts and design and different things like that before I cut into my fashion fabric. So that is something else I'll be working on this month. So I'm excited about that. And actually, that is more of a June, July thing. Um, so during this month and next month for sure, because then by the middle of next month, I'll start sewing up those pieces. So between now and then, it'll be a lot of, you know, me just kind of doing some practice, but preferably because those patterns aren't overly, overly difficult. Um, a couple muslin muslin should do um, one or two. So here are my patterns. So thank you to everybody that participated in the pattern no buy. Come June thirtieth, you can buy whatever you like. I believe I had mentioned that I was considering um, doing the no buy again for the remainder of the year, like for the month of July. Go ahead, buy up whatever you want to buy. Blah 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 blah. Um, and then maybe August through. Uh, Good Friday, I'm sorry, not Good Friday, Black Friday, which is November, um, and then it'll be off again. However, I have decided not to do that. <laughs> Once the pattern no buy is done in June, uh, that's it for this year. Maybe I'll pick it back up in 2019, but that'll be it this year. And it's only because my focus is changing. Um, not that I want to be able to buy a bunch of patterns or anything, it has nothing to do with that. It's more so I want to be able to 
focus on um, a couple other things I'll have coming up, which one will be after my anniversary collection, I'll talk about this in another video, will be a purple collection. If you all remember from my Make 9, and I'll pop that up here, um, it says Shades of Purple. And so after, you know, kind of working through my anniversary collection, I was like, why don't I just do a purple collection? And so I will, I'll be working on that. So I'll talk about that in the future video, but I am going to start thinking about um, ideas and Pinterest and seeing things that I like and maybe design or have patterns for. So here are my patterns that I plan to get. I know um, after, in this not going to be all on July 1st. <laughs> I'm going to be buying these patterns, but these are some, a couple of these will be literally July 1st. Um, but let me just share with you what I'm thinking. And I have over the past six months have written down patterns that I've seen that I like, and I have not actually numbered them. You guys know I've sh shared this little notebook I keep in my purse. Anytime I have ideas and every everything, I write them down. So I always have them on, on hand. So I wrote down a total of 54 patterns that I saw that I liked, but then I have gone back through and crossed off some of them some of them was like eh, i don't want that i don't want that or i can recreate that based on this pattern and that pattern and that's one of the things that nobody showed me is that okay you have some patterns that really you can franken pattern you can adjust if you get you get the fit right on this pattern maybe you can make a couple tweaks to get this look that you're looking for instead of buying a whole new pattern so the pattern no buy was definitely useful if you did participate in the pattern no buy please leave a comment below let me know tag me on instagram and let me know if you know in some way shape or form if that helped you um and so if nothing else you saved a little bit of money right <laughs> between january 1st and june 30th is when the no buy was so one of the patterns that I will be getting, and obviously I will be popping up pictures, so that's why I'm kind of sitting off to the side here, um, is the uh, Halifax hoodie by Hey June. And I saw this and I was like, perfect for my, as a matter of fact, <laughs> this is my, uh, you guys know this is my aesthetic mood board. That will be to recreate this look, I thought. Because I don't have, I don't have a hoodie pattern or anything at all. So, um, and I thought that would be a perfect way to recreate that look. The next one is, you already know I will be picking up the Necessary Clutch while I've already talked about that. That that will be my last Make 9 item, that one and the um, Soul Sweetness. But um, the Necessary Clutch pattern. Um, also, I will be picking up the... Um, Pinup Girls, Classic Bra, and Shelly Bra. I have been watching um, the uh, Craftsy Beverly Johnson um, Bra Custom Fit. I have been wanting to make a bra for myself for years. And it's different types of bras that, um, bras that worked were ones that are like $100 for me. And, um, and I don't want to spend $100 all the time. And then if I try to go cheap, I got exactly what I got. Um, didn't last long, anything like that. And so I decided that I'm definitely going to break out of that and go ahead and just make me a bra. And so the Craftsy class, I'll link it below if you're interested, but the Craftsy class I was watching is Beverly Johnson's, I believe it's custom bra fitting. And it's for the classic bra. So she takes you through the whole process in making that bra. So I want to make that. And then you have the Shelly bra which is also by Pinup Girls, sold through the um, uh, Bra Maker Supply, is uh, also Beverly Johnson Design. And um, Mishu Makes here on YouTube did a sew along for that, the, in the making of that. And so I'll link that video down below and if you're interested. And so I'm gonna watch her sew along. I'm gonna do the, the crafty one and then I'm gonna do the sew along. So those are on my list. Next is... Um, I want to get McCall 6653. I will pop that up. Um, Sean from Kittenish Behavior made this a couple times. And today, as a matter of fact, sidebar, I'm just getting home from my Sewing Fashionistas meetup. So you guys know I'll have another video um, about this. But we went over um, our sewing plans for the rest of the year and all that. So anyway, that'll be a separate video. But a lady in the class sewed up this exact same pattern. And she added a panel. You know, it's a cow neck, right? But she added a panel 
so the drew you know wouldn't show anything or you have to worry about anything showing it. it looked really nice the way she did it so i'm definitely going to um incorporate try to incorporate that um, I am going to pick up So Sweetness Renegade bag, the Aeroplane bag, and the Sublime bag. Love those. Love those. And I'll probably get all of those at once only because I want to make one of those bags soon, but I'm not quite sure which one. I just want to have them on hand. Um, M6044, just as a backup, but you already know, I make my husband a couple more of these for our part of our anniversary collection um, that I'll be sewing up. But um, I had cut the pattern last year, but I didn't make it to earlier this year. You saw from my Make 9 video. And so he wanted it a little bit larger, but I had already threw all those extra pieces away. So I'll need to buy a backup for that. He didn't want it as slim fitting. Um, the next one is the Rebecca Page Arabelle skirt. I will be purchasing this right away because I will be wearing this um, along with the uh, Rebecca page and I'll pop this up as well. The Brielle top. I'm going to wear those together because my business I'll be vending in July in the middle of July and I want to wear that combo to one of the day's events. Um, it's a two day event so that Friday I'll, I want to wear that and so I am purchasing that. I love that. I want to also get these winter wear designs real deal jeans. Somebody posted this in the Curvy Collection Facebook group. Love them. They just look so nice. And so um, I'm thinking about doing something with my my jean pattern. So that'll be a separate video. Um, the uh, let's see. I'm gonna wait on that one. Oh, the itch to stitch denim skirt. Is it? I don't, I'm, I'll probably pronounce the name wrong, but it's the itch to stitch denim jean skirt. So, so cute. And I have a ready to wear jean skirt. I only have one and I wear it to death. <laughs> I wear it all the time. And I want a couple different jean skirts. And so I love itch to stitch. And so I will definitely be um, picking that up. And I already talked about the Brielle blouse, the Re Rebecca Page Brielle blouse that I'll be making with that, that skirt. Um, I also want the, uh, oh, okay. Oh, the Rebecca Page, because I'm going past the ones I'm not getting right away. Uh, the Rebecca Page Kingston denim jacket. So remember, part of my sew sewing fashionistas group is to get some basics in your closet. I don't own a jean jacket. I like jean jackets. I just never, um, I don't know if I've never own one I just can't recall but I do like them and so Rebecca Page has the Kingston denim jacket I really do like it looks really nice and so I will get that haha -ha, you know cashmere is on the list and yes I will be getting and I'm contemplating I'm going to get it I don't know if I'll squeeze it in but I'm considering adding this to my anniversary collection and it's the cashmere Ipswich swimsuit and so we shall see. But I'm going to get it just in case I have a little extra room to play with and everything to get that done. No promises there. And so what else do I want to get um, that I wanted to mention? Oh, that's it. That is it. That is pretty much the ones I am looking most forward to picking up. And um, so, yeah, we shall see uh, how that goes. There are others that I have written down um, that... I'll just wait. The ones I mentioned are ones that, yes, for sure, I'm going to get them. But the other ones are, mm, mm, let me see if I, you know, if I, I'm still in love with it in another month or two. You know how that goes. Just wait. No need to, because most of the ones that I have on my, li on my list are all indie patterns. Um, and so, which... I have to be honest, most of my pattern collection, which that video, the first video will go up on Wednesday, I believe, um, and then the next one might go up the following week. Anyway, they're coming up. My collection of patterns that I am getting is leaning more towards a indie pattern company collection. Um, and so, and it's just because again, like I told you, I'm not gonna be force fitting and fighting that battle. If, if I know what my measurements are, let me look at those patterns that fit my measurements and let me go from there. And as I lose weight, that opens up more doors to more commercials. So we'll see or not. 
we shall see. Um, I have a future future video about uh, that anyway, but that is basically it. Um, I'll also have a video coming up pretty soon with my, I'm waiting on two more fabrics to arrive and you will finally see, that might be next Sunday as a matter of fact, so stay tuned. Um, that will be all of my uh, um, a staple, my key pieces and fabrics for my anniversary collection. I'm just waiting on two more pieces of fabric to come in. I picked up one today uh, from So Much Fabric. And um, yeah, two more pieces to come in and I will show you my uh, anniversary collection fabric haul. I'm so excited about that. I'm in love with everything that I have picked up. And then I will be sharing with you, like I already said, my um, pattern collection that I have to date. And also um, I will have a separate video about um, the remainder of my 2018 sewing plans and also about my purple collection. So those are some videos that will be coming up. And that is it. Thank you everybody for tuning in um, today. I greatly appreciate it. This was about 15 minutes long. And so, yeah, if you have any questions, thoughts, or anything, please leave them down below. Uh, follow on Instagram. There'll be some sneak peeks over there and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Thank you everybody for participating in the tag. If you have not participated, I'll leave the link up above and go ahead and participate in your Me Mate Lessons Learned uh, tag. So, thank you everybody for tuning in. You all have a blessed, blessed day and we will see you in the next video.